a night dedicated to 50 years of ping pong diplomacy celebrated in the most natural way. With paddlers from that famed 1971 U.S. table tennis team playing a friendly round with their Chinese peers. Connie Suarez and Judy Horfrost, just some of the hundreds gathered from all corners of the world to honor the legacy and lessons of the small ball that moved the big ball and China-U.S. relations. We understand and embrace its long-lasting significance as a friendship that still cherishes after 50 years. We care for each other deeply. Ping pong diplomacy paved the way for then U.S. President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China in 1972. Joining him on that trip was Dr. Henry Kissinger, who had secretly flown to China in the months before for talks with Premier Zhou Enlai, trying to build a bridge to peace. Even seemingly peripheral events can contribute to international understanding and to peace among two great nations. In the 50 years since, the China-U.S. relationship has experienced its fair share of ups and downs, becoming particularly strained in recent years. The Chinese ambassador to the U.S., Qin Gang, said the relationship is at a new crossroads, but pointed to the values of table tennis as a guiding light towards the next chapter. We do sometimes compete, but we should follow the, and the recognized rules like table tennis players, have fair and a healthy competition, respect each other, appreciate each other, learn from each other, and make progress together. That message has once again been brought to life through table tennis. The first ever China-U.S. mixed doubles teams played their first games on Tuesday, both winning and advancing to the next round. Tuesday night's gala was a tribute to the 50th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy, but it was also a chance to take those lessons of friendship and human to human connections into the next 50 years. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Houston, Texas.